Good morning. The day is March 6, 2016, and I'm Lucas Pruitt. This is your weekly market news. The previous week was highlighted by action from the People's Bank of China, who worked to free up additional capital for sustained lending while also acting to fight the impact of sliding foreign currency reserves. The reduction of the Chinese reserve ratio requirement by half a percent attempts to tackle troublesome liquidity conditions and has since eased negative sentiment on the part of investors. Outside of Asia, Europe continued to see mixed conditions with the area once again at risk of slipping into deflationary territory after a disappointing CPI and PPI figure was released. Speculation is high that the European Central Bank will ease policy conditions further in the upcoming meeting to help spur inflation and spending across the economy. Across the sea, an optimistic United States saw payrolls beat expectations, raising forecasts of another rate hike before the end of the year. The main event of the week ahead is Thursday's monetary policy decision from the ECB. The benchmark rate is expected to stay on hold, while the deposit rate could be adjusted lower, with an addition to asset purchases of as much as 15 to 20 billion euro in supplementary buying. Other events include European data releases, like the report on quarterly and annual GDP, forecast at 0.3% and 1.5% growth, respectively. Both the Reserve Bank of New Zealand and the Bank of Canada are also set to decide on rate policy, with each central bank anticipated to keep rates unchanged. Shifting gears back towards Asia, Japan will kick off the week with GDP figures. The annual metric is currently forecast to contract 1.5%. Then China will cap it off with their latest trade data, with exports forecast to see an accelerated collapse as imports decline at a reduced pace. This is the conclusion of your weekly market news. From the Alvexo team and myself, we wish you a profitable week in the markets.